I'm Susie, the Jewish Mexican cook, and today I'm going to make a very succulent, delicious cauliflower recipe. And I have started by washing my cauliflower, cutting it into florets, and here I have boiling water to which I'm going to add my cauliflower until it's nice and tender, and then I'll remove it and we will proceed to make an egg batter. My cauliflower is ready and it's, it's tender to the touch and I have separated six eggs so I'm going to beat the eggs with a pinch of salt and then I'm going to add the yolks back in for my batter for my cauliflower. I have added my egg yolks back into the egg whites and it's getting a beautiful color. I've shown you the previous steps and I am going to take a little bit of my batter and I'm going to put it in a smaller bowl. And there is a reason for this because when you dip the cauliflower in it you don't want to make the entire batter sort of mushy. So I take each cauliflower floret, I deep dip it in my batter and I put it into my oil that's been heating over a medium heat. And I'm going to do two or three batches of this because we have to be careful that it should not burn. This is a perfect recipe for Pesach. All it is is eggs, cauliflower, and oil, and then we're going to top it off with some tomato and onion and a little spice so that we can have a, a kosher Mexican pesa. The batter has gotten golden around the edges so that tells me it's time to flip it over and this is the tricky part. So here I go, there. You have to have a couple of small implements like I have in my hand here. It's already looking delicious. And I'm going to be like turning them on all the sides so that it gets fully cooked on all sides. So this is the depth of uh, goldenness that we want. Does that make any sense? I don't know. But they're nice and golden, our batter. And I'm going to put these to drain on some paper towels and then I'm going to add my next batch and I cooked it on all sides so that it's golden evenly around all of our cauliflower has been battered it's right here and now I'm going to put a cup of onion in the same leftover oil from which I removed the cauliflower. By the way, I added oil as I needed it for the battering. So I'm going to add a cup of, of uh, onion right now. I'm just going to let it soften up and glisten. And then I'm going to add some chopped tomatoes I have here. And in the meantime, I'm going to get out my a little bit of crushed red pepper to give it spark and life. So we're going to raise this to a medium heat. So I'm going to add my chopped tomatoes. And by the way, that was three tomatoes, one cup of chopped onion and three chopped tomatoes were diced. And see how the tomatoes are starting to release their juices a little bit. I'm going to add two tablespoons of water. That's all I need. This is going to be a little sauce and garnish for the cauliflower. And now is when I add my I'm going to add a little bit. I'm going to add 
one teaspoon of crushed red pepper so it's not too spicy. But it brings out the flavor and everything. There we go. And literally a pinch of salt. You can call that a pinch. And that is it. I'm turning it off. Finishing plating my cauliflower and kind of arranged it like that. It's not exactly a Picasso, but it's, it's a Schmidt. I'm going to take a spoon and top it with my sauce. not only gives it incredible flavor, but it also makes it very pretty, which I like. Ariella already tasted it without the tomato. How was it? Delish. Yeah. So there you have it. So make the cauliflower and enjoy it. Hexamere.